Hi, this is Mr. West, and today we're doing a math drills tutorial video on subtracting integers. So what we're going to do here, before we start, we have kind of a plan, okay? So number one, if we're subtracting integers, a lot of students find this difficult. So our step one is first going to be convert these two negative signs into something that looks a little bit more familiar. And we're going to change this whenever we see it into plus, okay? So we just want a plus or a minus. We don't want any of this double sign stuff, so we're going to get rid of any two minus signs to become a plus. And the way I like to think of it is if I have two minus signs, I can just cr make them into a cross, and it becomes a plus sign. Okay, I can get into, uh, I have other videos where I talk about why that is, but anytime you subtract a negative, it's kind of going backwards and then backwards again, so really you're going positive. That's the easy way to describe it. And then step two, we're just going to combine them. And I have two methods I'm going to talk about in this video, the number line method and also the money method, both of which I like and describe to students. So let's go ahead and start. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to turn any double minuses into a plus. That's the first step. So I have it in this second problem and I'm going to rewrite the problem and now it looks way more familiar. Okay. Here I have the same thing. I'm just rewriting the entire problem. Here I have negative 9 plus 1. And then what other one? I have 12 plus 4. This is going to just avoid confusion. So before you even get to the math, I would go ahead and do this exactly like I am. And this is going to help you um, make less mistakes for sure. And then you're going to see that a lot of these problems are a lot easier than you think. So I have negative 2 plus 4. Uh, I don't think I have very many more. And... 7 plus 15, negative 4 plus 5, I'm almost done, I think, and negative 7 plus 15, and then 9 plus 4, and that looks to be it, okay? So let's talk about two methods. I'm going to start with, um, let's go to number, number, th nope, that one's easy. Let me start with this one, okay? I, we'll call that number six. So I have negative nine plus one. So let's go to number line method first. The number, not, number line method would say negative nine plus one. So what we're gonna do here is we start on the first number. Okay, this is the first number and we would start on the first number. So in this case, it's negative nine. I'm gonna go ahead and put a dot in negative nine. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is anytime I add, and these are my rules for the number line. Anytime I add, I'm going to move to the right. And anytime I subtract, I'm going to move to the left. And it's very important that first you do this, otherwise it's not gonna work, okay? So if I'm subtracting, I'm gonna move to the left. If I'm adding, I'm moving to the right. And the only difference is this first number is where I start. So if I start on negative one and I add one, that means I'm gonna move to the right one unit. The second number tells you where you go. So the second number was a one, I moved to the right one unit. Let me show you what that looks like. I'm gonna move to the right one unit. Oops, negative, yep, I move right there. And this is where I end up. So I ended up right here on negative eight and that's gonna be my answer for this one, okay? So negative nine plus one was in fact negative eight. So let me go ahead and erase this and I'm gonna talk about the money method. So with the money method, essentially you're picturing a scenario where you have two friends, okay? And I'm just going to assume they're friends for this example, okay? So you have two friends. Let me go ahead and draw the two friends. So these are the two friends. All right. And with one of the friends, you owe $9. So maybe you borrowed $9 from that friend, but you owe this guy $9. And then this plus one means this friend gave you, that arrow is pointed to you at the screen, by the way, in case you're wondering. This friend's giving you $1. So actually, let me move that that. Uh, plus sign. I'm going to do minus sign here and then move this over. And the same thing with the one. Okay, so that's $9 that you have to give. And then this is $1 that you get from this other friend. Okay, so he owed you a dollar and then you owed that friend $9. Maybe he, uh, he took you out to a movie or something like that or bought uh, dinner or lunch, whatever it was. Okay, so you have $1 coming to you and then $9 coming out. So what's the net transaction? What ends up happening is you're going to take that $1 and you're going to give it to your friend that you owe $9 to and you're going to end up still owing negative $8. So that's the way you do these types of problems if you think about the friend method. I like the friend method a lot. I think it makes sense for a lot of students and that's the direct application for negative and positive numbers. But for those that are visual and they like seeing 
the number line, I think the number line is great for that. Okay, so we're gonna do a couple examples. Um, I'm gonna try to do maybe two more for each and then kind of cruise through a lot of these problems. So I'm gonna start, uh, let's see, two plus ten, eight, this one's 10. So that shouldn't be any problem. If we have two plus eight, that's equal to 10. What's I using green? Well, I'm using blue now. 12 plus four, same thing. We should know that's 16 and this one's 15. So a lot of these problems, they look tough, but now they're pretty easy because we see that they're both positive and it's just addition. So a lot of these we can do pretty quickly, okay? So those were some of the ones we did. Now let's go to negative eight plus 12. Let's do this one. I don't know which number that is. They're not even numbered. It's irrelevant. So we're gonna go to negative eight plus 12. So I'm gonna start on negative eight. That's actually where we ended up last time. And this is where I'm gonna start. So negative eight and then plus 12. Now I'm gonna go write 12. Again, same thing, I added one last time, but anytime I add, I'm going to the right. So I'm gonna to go to the right 12 units. So I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I just count over 12 units and I got to the number four. And that's the answer, okay? So the number line method is good for that. It's a good visual in that sense, okay? And I'm gonna show you uh, just real quick how we would do that using the friend method or the money method, okay? So we have two friends again. I like drawing the two friends just cause. So we have two friends, one of them, you owe, and again, we're not looking at this example. We rewrote the problem and we're just concentrating on that. So I have one of the friends, you owe $8, okay? So you owe $8 and then this friend owes you $12. So that's good, you got $12 coming in. You're gonna take eight of those dollars and pay off that friend and you're gonna be left with $4. So that is the net transaction. So actually you, you made it out uh, pretty well this time. You actually had a net gain of $4 and that's how you would do that one, okay? So I hope you guys understand the examples, okay? And I'm just gonna kind of help you out and I'm explaining it kind of like the in my head way. Oh, I forgot to do this one. 11 plus 11 is 22. Okay, so let me just cruise through this. Now here's the thing, we have uh, minus 15, minus 14, okay? So in this case, we would have two friends. I'm gonna do this one more time. And these two friends, you owe this guy minus, you owe this guy 15 and you owe this guy 14. So you're gonna owe lots of money and you just combine those numbers to get negative 29, okay? So a lot of times people get confused with rules. They're like, oh, if I subtract, I do this. If I add a negative or subtract, I wouldn't do that. Just have a better understanding by practicing either this visual method or the number line method, which with the number line method, what you're gonna do is if you have minus, 15 and then you minus 14, so minus 15, minus 14. Start on the minus 15 and then you move to the left, 14. Look, you're gonna get more negative, okay? So understanding you get more negative when both those numbers are negative, that's gonna be a big help when you do problems like this. So we're gonna go ahead and do a couple more. Negative five minus 15. I like to think of it as also they're on the same team. So these are both on the same team. They're gonna get stronger, minus 20. Uh, let's see, negative five minus 10, same thing. They're both negative, so they're gonna get more negative, minus 15. This one, both negative, they're gonna get stronger, they're gonna get more negative, minus nine. Same thing with this. Anytime you have two minus signs in front, uh, that's how I like to think of it. Both of these have a minus sign in front, they're gonna get more negative, minus eight. Okay, so all of these that you have minus minus, you can essentially just add and keep the sign. So one plus seven was eight, eight plus seven is 15, but it's minus, gets more negative. It's when the signs are different, that's maybe when it's a little bit more confusing. Some students incorrectly say this is minus 18, that's wrong, okay? Or they say this is positive four, that's wrong. What ends up happening is we have one team that's positive, another team that's negative, and they're gonna fight. Who wins the bigger number? the minus number, okay? And by how much does he win? He wins by four points, so it's a minus four. If you had a friend giving you $7, but then you have $11 going out, you would have to end, still end up paying that one friend $4. You wouldn't make up uh, the entire difference. So seven minus three, that one's pretty easy. Uh, five minus six, again, same thing. This is a positive, this is negative. The negative is bigger, so it's gonna be minus, and the difference is one. Anytime they have the same sign, they just get stronger. Okay, so I hope you guys understand and hope this is a little bit more clear than it was before you started. So that's all there is to this video. If you want me to do more problems or you need a further explanation, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what you need. I have tons of other math drills videos, so check those out. And I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.